Wow. I know you all were watching anyway, but let's take another look at this final round in the Koi Culpepper Papke Pew Cornhold matchup, the championship. The young girl goes first and she tosses her bag and <gasps> she missed all together. Whoa, so far. What? It just slid. Uh oh. She's like, okay, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's fucking good. We got it. We're going to come back. Okay. Koi Culpepper. That's one of her names. Uh, she goes and, like, oh, shit. That doesn't go in. Uh oh. Girl's a quick shot. Well, she's happy with it. Kind of blocks it. It's probably going to get pushed in. Here goes Koi Culpepper. And she does push it in. Now the young girls are in the lead. Uh, and now the young girls are still in the lead. But she's not happy with her shot. And now the Koi Culpepper lady, she's a reigning champ. She won the last two national championships. Knocks two of hers in. Wow, good shit. There's her teammate. She's like, oh, good job, good job, good job, good job, good job. What a fun time. What a fun time. The crowd, barely watching. Um, but... I guess into it. Now she has a really tough decision. She can drop it on the board. One point gets them the win, the solid win. Three Pete national champs if she drops right there, but she risks that bag falling in, which means she would just get one point. It would be 1918, and they keep going. Oh my God, the drama, the crowd going mild. Can't take their eyes off the Johnsonville Devour Hymns board. Oh! They win. Three Pete. National champs. They beat the 14-year-old girls that were challenging them. <laughs> the fuck is this? It's on ESPN2. Oh, that must be one of their husbands and a bunch of other people at the bar who showed up just to listen to some music, but instead a national cornhole competition was going on. They're like, okay, I guess we have to watch this now. Holy shit, post-game interviews. No way I want to hear that. 